everyone, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I am Lindsay Albanese, and today I am going to share some of my top secret, well, maybe not top secret, but I am going to share with you some of my closet organization tips. But before we go on to that, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do so right here. And while you're at it, why not follow me on Instagram, at Lindsay Albanese, for more fashion, friends, me, food, just a lot of random stuff. You're gonna like it. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the closet organization tips that I follow like religion to keep this all in order. These are the things that I've implemented into my organization routine with my celebrity clients and my travels being a wardrobe stylist. They are tried and true and they will get your organizational act together. Oh, and before we go any further, I need to share the details for my giveaway. I have not done a giveaway in so long, and I thought, hey, this is the perfect time. Why? Because I am in a book. I gotta get it for you. All right, so this is really exciting. I contributed to People Style Watch's Ultimate Guide to Style, your ultimate guide to style, and they featured me in the book, not just a little feature, no, 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 Lindsay, we got a full page, and my face is in there. And you know what else is super cool and I feel so honored? They only featured four stylists in this book. It's me and like J-Lo stylist and Jessica Alba and Gwen Stefani stylist and me. I mean, this is pretty crazy. Because I'm so excited and honored to be in this book, I thought, hey, I wanna do a giveaway. So. This is how I'm gonna give it away. All you guys have to do is go follow me on Instagram, at Lindsay Albanese, and under any of my photos, write style guide. And in about a week, we're going to randomly select a winner. So, this might be yours. Make sure to enter, because you know, you can't win if you don't play. And with that, let's get on to the tips. My number one most favoritist favorite, I know favoritist isn't a word, but you know what? It's You say favoritist when you want to emphasize something that you love so much, and this is fabric hangers. This little genius organizational product is basically just fabric that is sewn onto a hanger. And what I love about this little genius invention is the fact that you can actually see your things. I will include some of these fabric hangers in the description below. So if you want this or anything else I'm talking about today, I've done the work for you and the links are below. There are so many reasons that I love these hangers. Number one, they minimize Space. You just hang them up and you're not dealing with bulky things in your drawers and you guys know what I'm saying. When you have everything in a drawer and it's like going down the rabbit hole trying to see what you have, yeah, it's not happening. With these hangers, you hang everything up and it's just like, ah, oh, right there. They minimize space and they enable you to see what you actually have so you wear it. What a crazy idea. For me, I hang everything from tights to belts necklaces, scarves, pretty much anything that a safety pin will hang on this fabric hanger, I'm hanging it. Now obviously you can't hang everything on the fabric hanger, so for more bulky pieces like statement jewelry, cuffs and whatnot, I use Lucite trays. I got these particular Lucite trays last year and I only got one and then I went back and got another and I think I need to go out and get a few more because these serve two purposes. Number one, they keep your bulkier pieces such as accessories and sunglasses in order. But number two, they also create a bit of interior decor by showcasing your beautiful baubles and sunglasses in a more fashionable way. This is also a good space saver if you don't have drawers in an area where you can store things and put your accessories. You gotta get these trays. Another thing that I use to maximize my space are these thin <laughs> are these thin black velvet hangers. I love these because when you hang up everything, it just looks in unison and symmetry and it kind of looks like you have a little boutique going on in your closet. This little touch makes a huge impact. Oh, also, because you have some texture here, it grabs onto slinky fabrics like silk and polyester so it keeps things on the hanger because no wire hangers. I better not see one of these, at least in my closet. You can do whatever you want in your closet. The downside to these hangers, 
can be kind of flimsy. My husband says it all the time. Broke another one of those velvet hangers. God, those don't hang anything. I'm like, okay, I get it, but they look good. So for really super heavy items, you may need to get a different hanger. Last but not least, if you fail to do any of these closet organizational tips that I talk about today, the least you can do is color coordinate. Why? Because we've all had those moments when we're like, where is that yellow top? Or where is that black sheer designer blouse? I don't know, whatever, that I had. And you would never know because when you look at your closet, like every single color is mishmashed together. So good luck finding it. When you keep things at least color coordinated, you know that all the reds are gonna be in this section and all the yellows are gonna be in this section and all the grays are gonna be in this section. I find this extremely helpful with finding the things we want to find. So if you can just put things in their color category, I promise you will save more time sifting. To be honest, I could go on and on and on. I have so many more organizational tips to share with you, but you know, I gotta do some more videos. And if you guys like this by leaving me comments below, I will do a part two of this video. So please let me know. So that's all the secrets I'm willing to share with you today. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below, but most importantly, beyond this organization stuff, you guys need to enter the giveaway. Again, go follow me on Instagram, leave the word style guide under any of my photos, whatever you want. Oh, and you guys, please only write it one time. If you spam me by writing style guide under all my photos, that's not fair. Like you can't do that and I see you and it's not gonna help your chances at all. So make sure you go enter that giveaway and subscribe. So many of you have subscribed. So those who haven't, I think it's time right now. And I will see you guys next week for something that's not organizational. So for those of you who hated this video, don't worry, next week's will be better, bye.